just in time to say goodbye to the Duke and Duchess. Thank you, Thomas. Without you, Spencer would never have finished on time. <laughs> I have to go to Knapford now. Why? To see Sir Topham Hatt. Spencer snarled. You're going to tell Sir Topham Hatt about that silly scrap engine. I'll get there first to make sure your plan doesn't work. That engine will be sent to the smelter's yard, where he belongs. So Spencer pumped his pistons and clickety-clack after Thomas. Thomas heard Spencer's wheels whooshing and whirring behind him. I'll puff hardest. I'll chuff quickest. I know I can. Thomas and Spencer had the race of their lives. Thomas steamed over bridges and wheezed through tunnels. He slipped through junctions and raced round bends. Spencer thundered and roared, but he couldn't get in front of Thomas. At a junction, Thomas puffed ahead. Then he turned quickly onto a side track. Spencer thundered on, then screeched to a stop. Spencer reversed back to the junction. He raced after Thomas along the narrow track. The rickety old track went over marshland. Thomas knew that it was the fastest way to Knapford. Thomas huffed, and Spencer puffed. Spencer was closer and closer. Then there was trouble. The track was broken, and Spencer was too heavy. With a creak and a crack, the track snapped wow. beneath him. The mighty Spencer slid into the muddy marsh. Thomas stopped. He knew what had happened, but he could do nothing. I'm sorry, Spencer. I didn't know the track was broken. I'll go on and get help. I I'll be back. And Thomas steamed on. Thomas chuffed into Knapford. He was tired and dirty. Sir Topham Hatt was having dinner with the Duke and Duchess. The station master telephoned him and asked Sir Topham Hatt to come to Knapford right away. Thomas's traction rods were trembling. His wheels wobbled. He knew he now had to tell Sir Topham Hatt everything about Hero. Sir Topham Hatt listened. Hero is an old and important engine. I didn't want him scrapped. That's why we tried to fix him ourselves. Sir Topham Hatt stared at Thomas. Thomas was worried. He was now sure Sir Topham Hatt would scrap Hero. Did you say Hero? Yes, sir. You mean the master of the railway? Yes, sir. Oh, he's terribly famous. Famous? He's the master of the railway. Why did you think I would scrap the master of the railway, Thomas? Why didn't you ask me? Because I was silly, sir, and worried. So I tried to fix him alone. You're not alone anymore. We must help Hero at once. Send him to the Sodor Steamworks. Victor will have his funnel bright and pistons pumping in no time. Thomas was so happy he wanted to whistle and wish. Thank you, sir, thank you. What about Spencer? He needs help too. I told Spencer not to leave the summer house, and he did. So Spencer must wait his turn for help after Hero. Hero, I've seen Sir Topham Hatt. He knows you're the master of the railway. You're going to be sent to the Sodor Steamworks, not the smelter's yard. Hooray for Thomas! Hooray for Hero! The next day, Thomas and Percy heaved and hauled Hero to the Sodor Steamworks. Sir Topham Hatt was waiting. Welcome, Hero. It's a pleasure to meet you after so long. Thank you, sir. I thank you very much. And I thank you for Thomas. Thomas did his best. Victor will make sure that you will soon be master of the railway once more. Of course, sir. Anything for you. I will do my very, very best. We all will. Sorry, boss! <laughs> I'm sorry, sir. Very slippy hook. 
So I see. Don't worry, hero. Victor is the best. A few days later, all the engines went to see Hero. He puffed forward slowly. The engines gasped. Hero looked wonderful, as good as new. How do you feel, Hero? Very happy, Thomas. I never thought this day would come. Job done, Victor. Welcome back, Master of the Railway. Thank you, sir. Now, Thomas, go and get that Spencer out of the mud. Here I am, Spencer. I've come to help you. You can't help me, Thomas. You're not strong enough. You're right, Spencer. But I have just the engine who can help. Who are you? I am Hero. Are you the scrap engine? I was the scrap engine. Blistering boilers. Spencer, it's time to get you out of the mud. Hello, Spencer. What do you know? Hero shunted and shifted Rocky into the right place. Very slowly and carefully, Rocky lifted Spencer back onto the track. And then, with a mighty heave and haul, Hero pulled Rocky and Spencer towards the Sodor Steamworks. When Spencer was fixed, he joined Hero and Thomas. Together, the three engines worked on the summer house. They huffed and puffed their hardest. Thomas, I'm sorry I thought you were a tricky engine. And Hero, I'm sorry I called you a heap of scrap. You are both fine engines and fine friends. Just then, the Duke and Duchess arrived for their holiday. They were delighted with their new summer house. <laughs>